Okay, I am here to bring you another John Lee Coward update. And I know that um, this is probably not going to be what y'all want to hear. It's not something I want to discuss because I would rather talk about him meeting his maker. I'm going to just leave it at that. But this story actually came out two weeks ago. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I actually did know about this, but I just didn't talk about it because it's like, what's the point of constantly talking about it? But I have to be a man of my word. I said I was going to stay and stick on stick with this particular case all the way into the end. So I have to talk about every single thing, including what I'm about to discuss right now. So the latest update that came out two weeks ago involving this piece of shit is that the judge in his case has decided to seal a motion in the case of him killing Nia Wilson. Basically, what happened, his attorneys went to the judge and asked the judge, Um, If this case happens to be dismissed, can you seal the documents or the reasoning as to why we decided you decided to dismiss the case from the public? So basically, if this case gets dismissed, us in the public will never know why that reasoning was as to the decision that the judge decided to make in agreeing with the lawyers for John Lee Coward. Which is really messed up because if they'll do if they'll do this, we have a right to know why they did it. I honestly believe the reason why they want this hidden is because they don't want a backlash. They'll get one regardless, to be quite honest. I have a feeling people will go up in flames if this thing does not go the way that it should. It's because this was a very brutal murder and attempted murder. Let's not forget he tried to kill Nia Wilson's sister as well. This guy was a staunch racist. They went back and forth whether or not to charge him with a hate crime, and I think they decided not to, which was silly as hell. And then they did the back and forth thing with him to see if he was competent enough to stand trial. They finally found him competent to stand trial, and then they keep pushing it back over and over again. To be honest, this guy should have already been on trial, and if it was a perfect world, should have been found guilty. And in, in, in an even more perfect world, he should have been sentenced to at least life in prison without parole. But we don't live in a perfect world. So here we are. The dragging out continues. Now I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from Mercury News. It says, because the high profile case of the man accused of killing Nia Wilson on a BART platform has gathered national media attention, a judge has agreed to seal defense arguments as to why charges should be dismissed. John Lee Coward, age 29, is accused of slashing the throat of the 18-year-old Wilson on July 22, 2018 at the MacArthur BART station platform he's also accused of the attempted murder of her sister latifah wilson who was stabbed the two sisters were on their way home from a family gathering in concord and did not know cowl or coward police said the attack seemed unprovoked authorities said cowl slash wilson's throat then wiped and dumped the weapon in a construction yard near the station on friday cowl's attorney public defender christina moore asked to seal a future motion to dismiss the case meaning the details of her reasoning to ask for dismissal won't be made public And they should be made public. We want to know why the hell you want to file a motion to dismiss the charges. Is it because if it goes through, people going to try to find out where the hell she lives? And I'm going to leave it at that. Cowell was indicted by a criminal grand jury in 2018, the records of which are also sealed from the public. See, they're giving this man too much protection. Way too much protection. When he shouldn't have that much protection at all, if that. Nia Wilson's death sparked the nationwide reaction. A young African-American woman allegedly attacked by a white man brought on discussions of it being a racist-fueled hate crime. Cowell has not been charged with hate crime, but it's crazy because if you looked at his social media accounts before they scrubbed them, he was attached to a lot of white supremacist groups on Facebook. You know what's so crazy? Facebook has so many rules and regulations and stuff like that, but they don't have rules and regulations for these hate groups at all. Moore argued that if the records were made public, that they could taint a jury pool if members of the media got their hands on any references to the grand jury transcripts. Well, there it is. She's scared that it might uh, not give John Lee Coward a fair trial, in which, in my honest opinion, he should not receive a fair trial. They should railroad his ass the same way that they would do us. Moore wrote that the case has already garnered an overwhelming amount of media attention. So my thing is, if it didn't get any attention, would you have done this? 
Such a result would interfere with Mr. Cowell's ability to obtain a fair and impartial trial as the potential jury pool would be exposed to inadmissible evidence. That's the one thing I hate about this system is that people like this, this motherfucker can get a fair trial or they can fight to get a fair trial. Judge Kevin Murphy agreed with Moore saying in court that there would be a high likelihood that the information would be splashed into the press. He granted the motion to seal the motion and any prosecution response to the motion. Typical motions to dismiss contain defense attorney's arguments for why the case should be dismissed entirely or portions of it, such as special circumstances or special allegations. For example, it may contain arguments for insufficient evidence to support the charges or failure for the prosecution to provide evidence to the defense. The written arguments will be sealed, although the, both the defense and prosecution will orally make their arguments on the dismissal motion before a judge in open court. In addition to murder and attempted murder, Coward also faces the added special circumstance of lying in wait, which could have made him eligible for the death penalty. Well, let's hope that that happens. The Alameda County District Attorney's Office announced in August that it would not seek. <laughs> well, that kind of blew up my face. And you know what? I don't know why I said that and spoke so soon, especially since the last update I did about this fool was when they said they would not seek the death penalty for him. Coward, however, still faces life in prison without the possibility of parole if convicted. Coward was found was found competent to stand trial in July after his attorney questioned his co competency in December of last year. Court appointed doctors mentally evaluated him. One found him incompetent, but another could not be reached for a conclusion. A third doctor found him competent and a judge agreed that his case should move forward. Coward will appear next in court on November 22nd for the motion to dismiss and to enter a plea. Coward could still plead not guilty by reason of insanity, which means if he is convicted, he could face time in a state mental hospital instead of prison. See, they give these motherfuckers too much damn options. Reason of insanity. He meant to do exactly what he did. The fact that he went up to a random person, slashed their throat, try, tried to kill the other person with them, and then took the weapon and threw it to some unknown place. And then went and I believe changed his clothes, because I don't think they mentioned that, but he did, because they caught him on a surveillance camera going in one way and coming out another. He planned this it's just the unfortunate thing that nia wilson and her sister were the unfortunate victims it could have been anybody black that day no matter what the gender what the age or anything it's just the fact that nia wilson and her sister were the happened to be the target it could have been anybody as long as they looked a certain way so they'll move to seal documents from us like they've already have they continually push back this this trial he could have got the death penalty but they took it back and if he pleads insanity and is convicted and is allowed to have that plea then he will not go to prison but he'll go to a mental hospital i'm telling you that like let this let this had been one of us just for the slightest thing. It didn't even have to be this extreme. They would not drag this out. There would be no mental evaluations and all of that shit. It would be straight, clear cut and to the point. Lock our ass up for the rest of our life and possibly get the death penalty. It's been black men that's been put on death row who shouldn't even be there right now. For false accusations. Meanwhile, this guy actually did, and they're trying to make it seem like he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Like I said, there are plenty of mental illnesses in the world floating everywhere, but they don't, but they make it seem so vague. Like, what mental illness does he suffer from? But now they narrowed it down to, oh, he could plead insanity. If he gets off the hook with that, oh, that's going to literally send a, a signal for a lot of others who think like him to do the same thing and plead insanity. Not that many of them haven't already done so already. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this update down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.